Subscribe Knowledge TV and impress the bell icon so you would never miss any update. A novel virus first detected in the central Chinese city of Wuhan in December, has claimed over 250 lives and infected almost 12,000 Chinese citizens, according to the country's National Health Commission. The virus, currently dubbed 2019 NCOV, was pinned down after a spate of pneumonia-like illnesses appeared in the Chinese province of Hubei. It was first reported to the World Health Organization on December 31st and in the intervening month scientists have linked the disease to a family of viruses known as coronaviruses, which include the deadly SARS and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. On January 30th, a special WHO committee declared a public health emergency of international concern, citing the potential for the virus to spread to countries with weaker health systems. Human-to-human -human transmission has been confirmed outside China, including in the U.S., leading authorities around the world to begin limiting travel and enforcing quarantines to guard against the spread. On Friday, U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services Alex Azar declared a public health emergency citing the nation's intention to protect and respond to the outbreak, while noting the risk to Americans remains low. As part of the response, any foreign nationals who have been in China will be barred from entering the U.S. Starting Sunday, U.S. citizens who have visited Hubei province, where the outbreak began, will be quarantined for up to 14 days, while those traveling through other regions in China will be monitored and have to self-quarantine. Australia followed suit. As three new cases were announced Friday, Scott Morrison, the Australian Prime Minister, announced those travelling from mainland China would be denied entry into the country from February 1 onward. Coronaviruses belong to a family known as Coronaviridae, and under an electron microscope they look like spiked rings. They're named for these spikes, which form a halo or crown around their viral envelope. Coronaviruses contain a strand of RNA within the envelope and, as a virus, can't reproduce without getting inside living cells and hijacking their machinery. The spikes on the viral envelope help coronaviruses bind to cells, which gives them a way in, like blasting the door open with C4. Once inside, they turn the cell into a virus factory, using its molecular conveyor belt to produce more viruses, which are then shipped out of the cell. The virus progeny infect other cells and the cycle starts anew. Authorities have confirmed over 11,800 cases as of Friday. The bulk are in China, but cases have been confirmed in Thailand, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Cambodia, Nepal, and Russia. In Europe, Germany, Finland, France, Italy, Sweden and the UK have confirmed cases. New cases have also been seen in India and the Philippines, the first in both nations. In the US, six cases have been confirmed, two each in California and Illinois, one.